I usually have a work, nice work environment. And then sometimes I have people who are crazy. I think everybody has that. And then you go somewhere else to a new work environment and someone else is crazy. And you move somewhere else and you go to the restaurant and there's some, there's that crazy person again. I'm not talking about mentally ill. I'm talking about demonically possessed or afflicted. Um, I'm not the only one. It seems like everyone has a story of something following them, like that person that cuts them off in traffic and flips them off and then you go to work and they're grumpy and then you go somewhere else. And this is my opinion. It's not fact, it's not gospel, but I think there are spirits that follow us. Everybody has something in their life they have to deal with. And until we deal with it, it seems to follow us. Not that I like that, but we can and will overcome. When you face these problems, when you decide what is scriptural, what's the antidote, and you do it, and you get persistent with this thing, that's when you win. It's not easy, it's not fun, but the payoff is huge. The payoff's always going to be Jesus, His love, His presence, by His Spirit, communication between us and Him. That's actually what motivates us to do it, what gets us through it, and the payoff at the end. But there's always seems to be something in our lives that is either coming at us or getting under our skin. If it's getting under our skin, a lot of times, I'm not saying that's God doing it to get under our skin, but he will let Satan have his way in our life, not so much to overcome us, but for us to overcome it. There's an expression from Dan Moeller. He goes, if people are pushing your buttons, he goes, well, go buttonless. If someone's irritating you, is it their fault or is it our fault? Do we need something in our own personality that needs to be more patient, loving, understanding? And the only person we can really change is ourself. What is it in me that God wants me to do? Bless those that curse me. Pray for those who spitefully use me. Because there, for, there but for the grace of God go I. Whatever is going on in your life where you're being attacked or stopped, find out what you can do to flip the script. What's the antidote? If it's fear, how can you be bold? If it's anxiety, how can you have peace? Where is it in the word? How can you appropriate it for yourself, apply it for yourself? The Spirit of God will allow you to do this. And then when you win, it is to our benefit and His victory, His glory. And there's a happy ending because then the buttons that used to be pushed by Satan there's no buttons there and he has to move on and then we live in peace with God and we become like God Peter said don't be surprised by the fiery trials that come upon you and there's a whole lot more with that and I'll try to post it where it goes basically we're getting melted by these problems and the impurities come to the top God blows them away removes the dross, the impurities, in improper emotions, and then he sees himself in us. And that's the end game, and that's the prize. You can do it. We can do it. We got him on our sides. On our side. All our sides. We win. Never quit. Never surrender it. And uh, be happy when you get there. And if you're there, clap your hands and pray for us. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye.